Hi, my name is Nacelli, and this video is a tutorial of this tiny elephant. <laughs> Actually, it's the tutorial of, of the body. It's a no sewing needed body, so I, I do it start to finish uh, without sewing. I tap the trunk and the ears, but the video today is just the body because with the same body, we can do several kinds of uh, stuffed animals. So this one I made with a, a thinner text. The text of this yarn is 492. And the one I'm, I'm using today, it's going to be a thicker test, text. It's 884. Uh, 100 the, both are 100% cotton and you can use the any kind of yarn you want you just have to use the needle that is uh, compatible with it so let's start it I'm going to start doing the arms and we start by doing a magic ring uh, I, I, I kind of forget to remind but uh, in the description link in the des description and on YouTube there is the written pattern, so you can uh, follow me along. So, I'm, I started by doing a magic ring, and now I'm going to put six single crochets in it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is the first round of the arm so I, I pull the magic ring and now on top of each single crochet I'm going to do one single crochet which means I'm going to do six single crochet again this is the arm so that's this is the second round of the arm of the arm so from a total uh, the arm is 10 rows of 6 single crochet. So now we are in the second one. 1, 2, 3, 4. Sorry, <laughs> I had to see what my cat was doing. So 4, 5, and 6. So this is the second round and we have 6 single crochet, 6 stitches. Now we are going to do the third round. So we are going to do this to the end of the arm uh, for 7, we are going to have uh, 10 rows of 6 single crochet. Uh, I am going to do it up to the end of my 10 rows and I go, go, get back to you. So I, I show how we're going to leave it. So I did my, all my 10 rows with six single crochet. This is the first arm. So what I do is I cut the yarn really short because we are not going to need it to sew or anything. And then I, I trap her here so she doesn't undo the arm. And now we are going to do another one exactly the same like this. I'm going to do my second arm, my, my second arm, and I'm going to be back. So I finished my second, my second arm. Now I'm going to cut the yarn. And then pull through this loop and tie the knot. So I finished my second arm just like the first one and now you're going to start doing the legs. So I start by doing a magic ring and six single crochet on it so one two three four five six 
three, four, five, and six. Six single crochet. Tie them. So now, in the next round of the leg, the round number two of the leg, we are going to do one single crochet and one increase. And then you're going to repeat this pattern until the end of the row. So one, and now an increase, which means two single crochet on the same stitch. So one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, and one increase. By the end of this row, we are going to be with nine stitches, nine single crochet total. That's the second row of the leg. So now for the third row, we are going to do nine single crochet. We are not going to do any increases or decreases, just nine single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is the third row of the leg. So from row number three, that's the one that we did it, from row number nine, we are going to do nine single crochet. So now I'm going to start my four round. In round number four, we are going to do nine single crochets. So we are going to repeat this until we get to row number nine. So uh, we are going to do nine single crochets in each round and until round number nine. So I'm going to finish mine and I, uh, I'm going to stop filming now because if I do everything on camera, the video gets too long and it's just the same now. You just do one single crochet on top of the other single crochets and end up with nine single crochets in, in each round. I'm gonna finish my leg and I get back to show you how to do the second one. So I got here at the end of row number nine with nine stitches, nine single crochets. And now I'm going to do the same that I did with the arms. I'm gonna cut here and then pull the yarn through this loop and tie the knot. So this is the first leg. Now we are going to do the second one. But by the end of it, we do not cut the yarn. So I'm going to do my second one and stop here and not cut the yarn in the second one because we are going to continue the body from the second leg. So I got here to the nine row of the second leg, so technically finish. But now you're not going to cut the yarn like we did in the first one. What we are going to do is now put them both together. So I'm going to take this off so it makes it easier to see. So now I'm going to chain two, one, two chains. And now we are going to do, we are going to put this leg together with it. So. Uh, here was the last stitch we did and now you're going to do one single crochet here on the first one. You see, one single crochet. And now you're going to do eight more single crochets. One, 
We did one. Now we're going to do eight more and be with nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we did eight single crochets. And now, where we did the first one, we are going to do another single crochet together with that. So, by the end of this leg, we are left with 10 single crochets. And you remember the when we chain two? So now you're going to do one single crochet in each one of the chains. So one and two. Now, here, we already have a stitch. You can see that here we have a stitch. So here we are going to do our first, first stitch. And here we are going to do on this leg, around this leg, 10 single crochets. So this is one, now two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we are back here to our two chains where we made two single crochets on the other side. And now you're going to do one single crochet in each one of the, cha of the chains again. One and two. So now we got it. The legs are together, and now you're going to do the body up. I like to mark my the start of my rows with the with the yarn that I left. So now that we did this two, we are going to start the next row round. So. This is where we did the first one, the, the last one. Now it's going to be the first one. So we do one single crochet, single crochet, and come with your marker and mark this one. Because now this is going to be our first stitch. We are now on row number 11 because we start doing the legs and we continue. The body so now it's row number 11 you can follow along with the written pattern on the description so one we already did one single crochet now you're going to do nine more because in this row we have ten single crochets started so one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we got here on the single crochets that we did on the chain. You can see it's the middle of the legs. So now we are going to do two increases, which means two single crochets on each one of the stitches. So two increases, one increase, and now two increases. And we are back on the second leg now. And on the second leg, we are going to do 10 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we are on the back, on the single crochets that we did on the back of the chain. So now we are going to do two more increases. One and two together. Now one and two together again. 
by the end of row, row 11, we're going to be left with 24, uh, 28, I'm sorry, 28 single crochets, 20, 28 stitches. So now we are going to do, we are going to start number, row number 12. So I did here was one single crochet. And now you're going to do 10 more. You're going to do 11 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, now seven, eight, nine, and 11. So we're back on the middle, middle of the legs again. And now we are going to do two increases. So we are here on the middle of the legs, you see there's space. So we are going to do two increases. Now two single crochets together. So one and two, so that's one increase. And one and two together. And now that's another increase. So now we are going to do one single crochet in each stitch up to the end of the row. That's going to be 15 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oops, 15. So now we are at the end of row number 12 and we are going to be left in this row with 30 single crochets, 30 stitches. Now we are going to do row number 13. Row number 13, we are going to do just uh, single crochets, uh, not one increase or decrease. We are going to do 30 single crochets, one, one round of just single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, this is it just one single crochet in each stitch that we have below on the row on the round below uh, we are going to be left with 30 stitches still so from row 13 to row 16 that is four rows we're going to do four rounds of 30 single crochets uh, we are going to do this part the, the belly so we are going to just do 30 single crochets without any increases or decreases for four rounds. I'm going to do mine and I get back uh, to show the next round. So now I finish all my four rounds of 30 stitches, 30 single crochets. And now we are, we are left in the 17 round, round number 17. And in this round, we are going to do three single crochets and one invisible decrease. So now start by one, two, three single crochets. Now invisible decrease. The invisible decrease, we take the front loop only of two stitches in the front, yarn over, pull through, and pull through two. That's an invisible decrease. So now we're going to do this, repeat this pattern until the end. Two single crochets and one invisible decrease. Two single crochets 
and one invisible decrease. We are going to repeat this until the end of the row until we get on our markers and we are going to be left by the end with 24 stitches, 24 single crochets. So I got here on my marker and I finished my row, the row number 17 with 10, 24 stitches. Now from row 18 to 20, uh, that means 18, 19 and 20, so that's three rounds, we are going to do 24 stitches, 24 single crochets, uh, which means we are going uh, to do only single crochets, not one increase or decrease. Three rounds of 24 single crochets. By now you can fill up the inside of the legs and then do this round of single crochet. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six. So just single crochets, not one increase or decrease, just single crochets until the end of a row. For three rows, we are going to do that. Row number 18, 19, and 20, we are going to do 24 single crochets. I'm going to finish mine off camera. Like I said, the video gets too long if I do it all on camera. So I did my three rounds of 24 stitches and I fill up the legs a tiny bit, just, just the tips of the legs. And now you're going to do row number 21. I'm going to start by doing one single crochet. So I can place the marker on it. So this round, uh, round num number 21, is two single crochets and one invisible decrease. So one, two, and one invisible decrease. One, two, and one invisible decrease. So we are going to repeat this pattern until the end of the row of two single crochets, one decrease, two single crochets, and one decrease. Uh, by the end of the row, we are going to be left with 18 stitches. So now, I finish the row number 21 with 18 stitches. For row, row number 22 and 23, which means two rows, we are going to do 18 stitches. Not one decrease or increase, just 20, uh, 18 single crochets twice for two rounds. 18 stitches. Finish my two rounds of 18 stitches. So now you're going to do the uh, row number, round number 24. For round number 24, we are going to do one single crochet and one decrease. One single crochet and one invisible decrease. And we are going to repeat this pattern up to the end of the row. One single crochet, one decrease. By the end of this row, we are going to be left with uh, 12 stitches. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I already fill up the body, the complete body. 
because now you're going to start to tie it up so it's going to get harder to fill later on so one decrease one single crochet one decrease one single crochet and one decrease now you're going to be left with 12 single crochets 12 stitches and now you're going to we are going to place the arms together I'm going to show you how to do it so we are now on row number 25 we're going to do three single crochet I'm going to do one first and then place the marker so now I'm going to do three single crochets one two and three now you're going to put the first arm so what I do is I fold them like this and I'm going to take along with the body four loops, two loops from the front and two loops from the back like this at each time. So I'm going to do crocheting them all together. So uh, I take here, you see that my yarn is on my needle. Now I take the loops I told you, two of the front, two of the back. And now I go on the next stitch here and I'm going to crochet, do a single crochet normally, just with all that together. So I did one, now two, so take the front, the back, you see, yarn over on the body, you see on the next stitch of the body, pick up the yarn there pull through all of them and now pull through the two, two together so second single crochet and now the last one front loop front loops back loops so for the third single crochet doing the arms you see now the arms are placed here without needing to sew it. Now we are going to do three more single crochets. One, two, and three. And for the next three we are going to place the second arm like I told you guys before in the first one. So I fold them now I'm going to do I fold it my yarn is here on my needle so I take two loops two loops from the front two loops from the back and now two more loops from the body pull through all of them pull through the two doing a single crochet Second one, this is water. So, second one, two loops from the front, two loops from the back, two loops from the body. Pull through all of them, do a single crochet. Last one, two loops from the front, two loops from the back, two loops from the body. And now we are left. To the marker you see so we finish row number 25 with our arms placed without needing to sew you see so now for row 26 we are going to do one single crochet and one decrease so you take this this is our marker so here one single crochet and one invisible decrease oh not really 
I don't like to do on this row invisible decrease. I do a different kind of decrease that I take. One, pull through. One, pull through. And now I take all of three of them. That's a decrease. So one and one decrease. And now you can do an invisible decrease also. But I think this way it gets more uh, hard to open the stitches. Because it's the neck. I like to do it like that. So one single crochet and one decrease. Make like that. Pull through. By the end of row number 26, we are going to be left with eight single crochet. And it's really tied up. And now you're going to start doing the head. So now we are going to do row number 27. Uh, we are going to start doing the head. So now we're going to start to increase. And in row number 27, we are going to do one single crochet and one increase and repeat it. So one, I did one. I'm going to place my marker here. One single crochet. This one is a bit tricky because the the work starts to be a little bit heavy. But one single crochet, one increase. Two single crochets together. So one, one increase. And by the end of this row, we are going to be left with 12 stitches. So we're just going to repeat this pattern of one single crochet and one increase to the end of the row. one single crochet and one increase to the end of the row one single crochet now two single crochet together increase got here to the end you can start to see that it's getting bigger because we did increases now for row number 28, we are going to do the same thing. One single crochet and one increase. So for row number 28, we are going to repeat the pattern. One single crochet and one increase. One single crochet and one increase. And we are going to repeat this to the end of the row. By the end of the row, we are going to be with 18 stitches, 18 single crochet. One single crochet and one increase. One single crochet and one increase. Up to the end of the row. So now by the end we are left with 18 stitches and now in the row number 29 we are going to do two single crochets and one increase. I did one already so now two and one increase. Two single crochets and one increase. To the end of the row of the round. <laughs> Uh, we are going to be left with 24 stitches. You can see that the head is starting to grow. You see? Now I form a neck and this is the head. So now in the end of the row number 29 we are left with 24 stitches. And now we're going to start row number 30. So on round number 30, we are going to do three single crochets and one increase and repeat that. So I did one and pass on my marker. So one, two, 
three single crochets and now two single crochets together which means one increase so three single crochets one increase three single crochets one increase and then we we repeat that now one increase and by the end of round 30 we're gonna have 30 single crochets 30 stitches just repeat that three single crochets and one increase so we got by the end of the round 30 with 30 stitches now from row 31 to 35 which means five rounds we are going to do 30 single crochets so we are going to do five rounds of single of 30 single crochets without making any increase or decrease just 30 single crochets for five rounds rounds 31 up to 35 so I finish here my five rounds of 30 single crochet you can see that the head has grown a lot and now we are going to start closing the head so the next row uh, row number 36 we are going to do three single crochets and one decrease one invisible decrease so one two and three single crochets and now one invisible decrease one two three single crochets and one invisible decrease so we're going to repeat this pattern to the end of the round the round number 36 and we are going to be left at the end with 24 stitches and now I have 24 stitches for the round number 37 we are going to do two single crochets and one invisible decrease so two and one invisible decrease one and two and one invisible decrease so we're going to repeat this pattern to the end of the row oops uh, and by the end of the row we are going to be left with 18 stitches two single crochets and one invisible decrease now I have 18 stitches so we are going to do now row number 38 and we are going to do one single crochet and one invisible decrease one single crochet and one invisible decrease we are going to repeat this pattern up to the end of round number 38 and we are going to be left with only 12 stitches and this is where we are going to stop the video because uh, after this one is just one more round is round number 39 uh, and in round, round number 39 I just do six invisible decreases but we are not gonna do that because this video is just the body so with this body you can do several kinds of uh, animals but with this body we we finish without needing any uh, sew so it's a no sewing needed body for a lot of, of a lot of amigurumis so this one I did with a a thicker yarn and this one with a thinner yarn but they are the same pattern uh, so I am going to do a second video of this uh, when we turn this body into a uh, elephant but we can do several kind of, of stuffed animals 
with this kind of body. I'm gonna take some of them to show you as, as an example. So I'm going to put uh, the, to upload the videos of the, a uh, lot of them, of various kinds of animals. So this is what we did in video, and this is with the thinner uh, yarn. This one is the same of this one. And I'm going to do, in another video, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, body to become an elephant. So, another video, I'm going to teach how, how to, this is the same body, you see? It's just in a different color, and we made different details. The face and the ears are, are different than the, the elephant. And with the same body that we learned, this one, you can do this bear, for instance. Uh, so I'm going to do a video for each one of these parts. So we are going to use the same body to do different kinds of animals. Uh, if you want a specific animal or any kind of amigurumi, you can leave it out on the comments or if you have any doubts, you can ask me and I will answer. Uh, so thank you for following this video through. If you like the recipe, give it a thumbs up and I see you next time. Bye-bye.